Buenas gente, estamos en el campamento y después de 4.000 pruebas y de 4.000 misiones y 4.000 cosas vamos a hablar con Hoshia por fin Hoshia, ¿qué pasa loco? Hostia, lo de la fiesta, es verdad Estoy sucio. Pero pagas tú, eh. Seguro que hay algún lío. Gentlemen, Luca. Luca. I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow me, gentlemen. Todos le dan una palmadita, tío. Ese. A que levante voy. Una velada. Good evening, Pierre. As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, uh, Mr. Brante, he has a uh, thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party? We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. <laughs> come, come. Pues ya voy yo con Dutch. No sé... No sé cómo soy capaz de jugar con estos molestando la verdad. The Angry Cowboys, eso somos. Este mes no, este año. These are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, no. and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fusar. Alberto he owns Fusar. a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley. Hobart. A, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, hero, they say, but that, this is his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young sure, wife. Sure, sure. It's unseemly. Oh, oh, the red skins. <laughs> I have no sympathy oh, for them. Oh, por fin, los he visto. Because <laughs> stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, <laughs> hand a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that will save you. <laughs> Estos los vimos cuando that, llegamos al nuevo sitio. That is Hector Fellows. Mm -hmm. This self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such. Not in cold blood, anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you were a good friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. I'm not taken. 
None taken. <risa> Uf, se ha puesto la cosa tensa, eh. Arthur está. No me lo hora de guardarte morir. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and scoop cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. Start in San Jose. What uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any. Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. Claro, but you, nosotros, pff, yeah. as a guest, yes, as my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, claro, ragazzi, I guess. Okay, I guess. will be no bueno. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Hijos de puta. I'll show you to the party, gentlemen. Quiero matar al bronte. Kindly follow me. Vale, aquí estamos, elegantes. Bueno, pues vamos a trabajar. ¿Qué ha pasado? Pues? Pues sí, claro que sí. It ain't complex, and you, and only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, so, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Fertino. Well. You know. I'm not drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. What say you and me cool off? Oh, me la llevo. Sacarlo de la fiesta. Muchas gracias. Por supuesto. Fantastic. Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, brother. Uh, Monsieur, 
Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass, and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Uh, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in and sign it. Yeah, problem is from Cornwall. Enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Please say something about Cornwall. Yes. Find out what. Sure. Sí, yo quiero matarle a eso también. Estoy, estoy subiendo ahí en la nueva. No problems. No problem. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Terrapin. Terrapin. Pues también no vigiláis, pringo. ¿A quién quieres que den la puerta? Suerte que me voy a esconder. I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. <laughs> Forgive me, I was unaware. I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Mírame, mírame. ¿Qué haces? No sé si sigiloso no soy. Se va a ir por ahí. Dicho que no debe de robar. Me va a encontrar el señor Bronte. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Vuelve sin que te vea nadie. Ahora. Monsieur Angelo. Vamos, que le ayuda al otro y como le da dinero, pues... El otro iba muy de flipado, pero ha dejado todo abierto, o sea que tampoco... Van der Linde, ¿dónde estás? ¿Dónde aquí está? Nothing. 
This town is a waste of time. Maybe not. I think... Gentlemen, I think we're done here. Well, almost. What did you find out? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course, and I, I think I found out how we can grab some of it. The big bank. A real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high stakes poker game. Sí, lo del poker ya no me llama la atención, la verdad. No, aparte que porque no sé jugar. Here comes Lenny. All right, let's get in. Go home. Adiós. Uh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. <sighs> Let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. Bueno, pues ya hemos pasado la fiesta. Interesting times. I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are going to run some distractions. See how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. In the riverboat, Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. It Where is home? Casa. I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay. Bueno, pues ahí está. Hemos estado en la fiesta. Maravilloso. Pues nada, nos vemos en el próximo capítulo en el que ya nos dispondremos a un robo mano armada, según lo que dice. Así que nada, nos vemos.